Let's take a quick look at the United States Army's civil affairs and their command structure, units, people, training, and missions. Although most civil affairs are a part of the Army Reserves, active duty civil affairs is a subordinate unit of the 1st Special Forces Command, of the U.S. Army Special Operations Command, the Army component of U.S. SOCOM. The 95th Civil Affairs Brigade is commanded by a colonel. Its headquarters is located at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. The active component consists of five Civil Affairs Battalions, each with a regional focus and commanded by a lieutenant colonel. Male and female active duty officers can reclassify as Civil Affairs officers and non-commissioned officers can reclassify as civil affairs sergeants after they successfully complete the civil affairs selection and an intensive 45-week training program. All civil affairs soldiers are airborne qualified. Following civil affairs selection, soldiers will receive 45 weeks of training. The training includes a three-week introduction to civil affairs, 25 weeks of language training, four weeks of regional training, an eight-week civil affairs core curriculum, and a three-week culmination exercise. All training is based out of Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Civil affairs units use non-lethal means or soft power to support military objectives by working with local governments, tribal leadership, non-government organizations, and relief agencies during peacetime, contingency operations, and war. Their primary task may include populist resource control, humanitarian assistance, civil information management, nation assistance, and support to civil administration. I met my first civil affairs team as a young captain a year before I joined Special Forces. They were fluent in the local language, they had a car, they were autonomous, they were regional experts, and they had a great relationship with the local government leaders and every major hospital in the area. I took them on the medical humanitarian assistance mission I was commanding, and by the end of the week they were my most trusted and competent advisors. Okay, there you have it, a quick overview of Army Civil Affairs. During my career, I have had the privilege of working with and having operational control of civil affairs teams in almost a dozen countries. Whether building a school or a bridge, planning a humanitarian outreach mission, or giving updates during a disaster relief, civil affairs professionals are worth their weight in gold. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to forward to a friend who also needs to know this. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?